Welcome back to Ghost Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kossi. Welcome back to a brand new video. Arsenal have drawn FC Porto in the round of 16 in the UEFA Champions League. The first games will be played in February and the second games will be played in March. Arsenal will officially, in my opinion, get past Porto and we will get to the quarterfinals. But more on that a little bit later. How are you feeling, Arsenal fans? I mean, in, in the comment section, the energy that you gave me when we were predicting who could who we could actually get was actually that um you lot were saying that anyone who comes, PSG, um, regardless, um, you know, FC Barcelona, regardless, you all wanted whoever comes. That means that uh, you're confident. That means that you feel Arsenal have got the minerals to beat whoever we actually draw in the UEFA Champions League. And I like that because it's been a while ever since Arsenal played on the round of 16 in the Champions League. But again, it's been a while ever since Arsenal uh, uh, you know, entered into uh, a knockout round in the UEFA Champions League and the fans were confident and the fans felt that um, we can beat whoever is in the competition, right? We can put in a good shift. We can, we can actually put in um, a good fight as well. So we have drawn FC Porto. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Not a bad side. I'll give you, I, I give you my uh, honest opinion. I think FC Porto is a very good draw for Arsenal. It doesn't allow us to relax, but it doesn't put us under a little panic. If it was Bayern, um, yeah. If it was PSG, uh, you know, probably you, you, you're afraid. But to be honest, FC Porto, as long as you prepare well, as long as you give them the respect they deserve, Arsenal will go through, right? Arsenal will go through. We will also be making a draw reaction to all the other draws, which I think um, are quite interesting. Very, very interesting. It's a, it's a balanced round of 16 draw. Most of the draws are balanced, apart from Manchester City, Copenhagen. The rest of the draws are absolutely, absolutely fascinating uh, to watch. Right, let's, let, let's look at it. Number one, Arsenal have drawn FC Porto, and I think FC Porto will be coming... Uh, at the Emirates Stadium last, we will be going to uh, Portugal first. Now, this is a very good draw for Arsenal. And I know many people are kind of afraid. Uh, many people think that um, uh, FC Porto and Portuguese teams have a lot of quality. And they actually do. Apart from Benfica that have uh, disappointed, really, really massively disappointed um, in the group stages. Porto on the other side. They are a quality side and they can cause a lot of problems. Just to give you a flashback. Last season in the Europa League, I think Arsenal had a chance. But Sporting Lisbon, right from Portugal, gave us problems and Arsenal succumbed to an early exit of the competition. So what does that mean? That means that we are playing a much better side than Sporting Lisbon. We are playing a historical you know, Champions League side. We are playing um, a side with a lot of pedigree and we are playing a side that do not even care or don't even give... Um, you know, if they have nothing to lose, if they get out at this competition, uh, at this stage of the competition, they've actually done well. That ca that is good revenue to start them next campaign. And if they progress to the quarterfinals, it's um it's unbelievable, right? It's really really unbelievable. So FC Porto are going to be a hard team, very hard, nothing to lose, but still very quality. With Arsenal, why I think this is a very good draw for us, easy. You don't want a very easy side at this part uh, in, in this uh, in, in this part of the competition. You don't want um, a very easy competitor at this uh, at this um, stage. Why? I think Porto prepares you for Madrid. Porto prepares you for PSG if they go tr through, and Porto would prepare f you for FC Barcelona or um, or Man City. I think FC Porto at that kind of you know low ladder that you step on to go on to the next ladder, right? Good side, but not better than Arsenal. Not at the same level as Arsenal. And that is actually very evident in what we have seen um, in the UEFA Champions League. They lost 2-1 at the Camp Nou. They also, um, I think, uh, they, came, they came from behind a couple of times to beat Antwerp and uh, Shakhtar Donetsk. So that means that if you deny them the goal-scoring opportunities, all these weaker sides have been giving them, the likes of uh, uh, Shakhtar, the likes of Antwerp, if you deny them those goal-scoring opportunities, they are actually going to struggle. They consider a lot of goals. Um, it's all about, can you stop them from scoring? I think in their group, they're kind of unlucky that they didn't actually drop the group. I think it was uh, due to pedigree. Uh, Baka uh, had done very well against them. I think it was um, a draw at home. 
uh, and then they lost to Baka uh, away. So they, they didn't top the group, but they had more points than FC Baka. They had a better goal difference than, uh, I think they had similar points and a, a better goal difference than FC Baka. So for me, with Porto, we know how to beat them. It's as simple as that. We know how to beat them. They're a side that love scoring. They're more like Brighton. They love scoring and they open themselves up. So what do Arsenal do? What Arsenal do is get in this game, go in this game very disciplined, right? Get a big result away, like a one all draw or a 2 1 win. And then when you come at the M Stadium, keep a clean sheet. That is the job. It's a very hard one, by the way, to do against a club like FC Porto. They score goals for fun. They love scoring. And their game is very, very attacking. But that is the job, right? That That is the job. Apart from FC Porto, um, look, the other draws that I would have wanted, I would have wanted Copenhagen. But uh, Copenhagen, too easy at the moment. So, not really. I would have wanted RB Leipzig. Yeah, I would have wanted RB Leipzig and Inter Milan. Those are the draws I wanted. Leipzig... Copenhagen, Inter Milan, FC Porto, and we have just got one of them. So if, if you think Arsenal will not go through, let me know in the comment box below. For me, this one is an automatic one. Come February, Arsenal should have the minerals to uh, get the, a good result against FC Porto, first leg, and then we can get the job done in March and wait for the quarterfinals, which should also be um, an interesting tie. Because if you've given us Copenhagen, uh, if you've given us Porto, then quarterfinals, you expect a Bayern, you expect a Madrid, you expect a Manchester City. I don't think we're going to be running away uh, with it, okay? So I'm still pumped up. I'm still very, very uh, pumped up. I think we will go through. I think it will be Arsenal 2-1 away and Arsenal 2-0 at home. And then when we get Madrid, we shall determine who is the best signing of the summer, Declan Rice or Jude Bellingham for now. I think we have done well not drawing any of the crazy draws that are out there. Okay, so let's get to the other draws and why I think um, this is a balanced draw, a round of 16 overall. Napoli take on FC Barcelona. Napoli are off form. They do score a couple of goals. They do win a couple of games. But uh, as compared to the Napoli, they were less campaign. Kavice, Kavarskelia, Politano, Osimen, um, you know, the, the likes of Angisa. I don't think all those players are still at the same level, right? And uh, it comes from the fact that they've lost their manager um, at the start of this campaign. They've also, uh, you know, had contract issues with, with Victor Rossiman um, and, and, and a lot of stuff going on. But it also be courtesy of the uh, burnout they are suffering. They really put in a shift last season to win that title. So there is all reasons for us to believe that they're suffering from burnout. Now, I tip Napoli to go through over FC Baka. Listen, Baka could have improved a lot by the time we get to February. But FC Barcelona are one of the worst big sides in Europe right now. I, I tell you what, if Baka was second, I would have wanted Barcelona. Because that would have been a sure deal. Arsenal would have won both on, on both occasions, not conceding a total of above two goals. It would have been an easy ride, right? You wouldn't have just smashed them for goals to two. So for me, I, I think Napoli will go through. Napoli um, do have do still have that kind of uh, uh, education. Their last campaign, uh, they will get better. I think the pressure of the title and all that is now coming down. They are they're used to the fact that um, when you win the title, you can be shit next season. So Napoli to go through against FC Barcelona, I don't, I don't give Baka a chance in this one. I really, really don't. I think Baka will win at the camp now, maybe two 0 or, or two one, and then Napoli will overturn that result um, at the Diego Armando Maradona three goals to one, and Napoli will be uh, into the semi-finals. Paris Saint Germain Real Sociedad. If you are waiting for a shocker, if you are waiting for a surprise element in the UEFA Champions League. That surprise element, mind you, you braggarts, is not Arsenal. That surprise element is we are such that they've done well. They've really, really done well. They topped the group where where we had Inter Milan. They they were amazing, amazing. That's the word uh, I can use on them. We are such that you've got to love them. You've got to love them. Low budget, quality football, and 
I, I think they will keep their players in January. They will keep their players until the end of the campaign. And then uh, that's when uh, the likes of uh, Kubo will be leaving. That's the, when the likes of uh, uh, Zubimendi will be making way. But at the moment, I still tip them to keep uh, their players intact. Real Sociedad are going to cause a late or early, depending on what you want to call it, uh, an early upset for Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain don't go through for me. They, they don't go through. I, I, I've never seen Paris Saint-Germain as a quality side. I've never seen them as, um, as a serious side. Now, I could be wrong about this one. This is one of those that could go catastrophically wrong. It's one of those where you could have um, Paris Saint-Germain pumping Real Sociedad. And the reason is easy. Sociedad don't have the experience at this level of the UCL. PSG do. And you look at the two teams on paper, you look at the budget, you look at, uh, um, you know, by the, time we play, by the time we play the round of 16 games, there could be some element of burnout, tired legs and injuries in the Real Sociedad squad. So you put that all into context and you give PSG a chance. So I don't think, they, I, I don't think Real Sociedad would blow PSG away, but I think it will be some kind of uh, an upset. They could get a draw at the party princes, and when they go to Spain, that is when they are really dangerous. So Real Sociedad to go through over Paris Saint-Germain. I could be wrong on that one, but it's my gut feeling. Inter Milan take on Atletico Madrid. Thank God this is the most balanced game uh, of, this, of, of this draw. Because why? I, I think Inter Milan are quality. I think they're good. But Atletico Madrid at home, have you seen them? Have you seen these guys, um, you, you know, at, at the uh, you know, stadium at, at the Metropolitano? They are very, very, very good, right? So this one is a difficult one. I'm going to back Atletico Madrid to um, uh, get Inter Milan out of the way. Milan will win it at the San Siro. And... When we go to the stadium, when we go to the Metropolitano, that is where Atletico Madrid will S Inter Milan out. So I think it might be a difference of 4-3, 5-4 or something like that. But I think Atletico Madrid have the minerals. Atletico Madrid have the, uh, the chances. I actually look at them as a side that if they can keep their home record, I won't be surprised to see them against Arsenal in the semifinals or something like that. Or them playing Madrid actually in the semi-finals of the Champions League okay so again Aleco Madrid that should be an easy one for them I don't expect them to be out at this stage PSV check on BVB uh, PSV quality side very good at home but, but you know BVB are struggling right now uh, home and away they're struggling they're struggling to get points at home they're struggling to get po points away from home and Although I want to back, uh, uh, you know, PSV, I think Dortmund still have the quality in the Champions League to get the job done. I look at uh, PSV, and they are lucky. They were lucky that Sh Sevilla was shit. They were lucky that when you w when we played, um, w when they played Lens, somehow um, they got uh, out on top, right? So I think they will not go further than this. This is the last stop for PSV. Borussia Dortmund to go through there. Um, and I would love Borussia Dortmund to go through. Lazio Bayern Monique is the next one. By Lazio Bayern Monique. It's not an even draw. Lazio have done well. In a group where there was um, Atletico Madrid, I think. No, was there Atletico Madrid? They had Fe Feyenoord, I think. They had Feyenoord. Um... They have social as uh, sh that Feyenoord, that Atletico Madrid, yes, they had Atletico Madrid, that Feyenoord, and probably Celtic, yeah, and most probably Celtic. So, in a group where you never expected them to come out, you know, second, they did come out second. You, you I, I give them a lot of respect. I give them really, really a lot of respect. But for me, it's the end game. When you're given Bayern, you've got to say goodbye. Unless you are uh, Madrid at this point in time. You've got to say goodbye unless otherwise. Okay? So, uh, Lazio, that's an easy one. They're out. Copenhagen, Man City, that's one an easy one. They're out. Yeah, that's an easy one. They're out. And the game won't be interesting. Copenhagen could lose like 2-0 at home. 
and 4 nil away from home. So Copenhagen, I'm sorry. Um, they've done well to you know pump Manchester United out of the ex door, but that's all they could do for us. I just don't think they will get anything out of Manchester City. Lastly, um, an interesting game, but a boring result. Madrid, RB Leipzig. M Madrid will go through. Yeah, Madrid will go through. We all know this. Madrid will go through. It will be good games, right? We might have Arab Leipzig winning 3-2 in, uh, in Leipzig. And then we might have um, Madrid 3-0, 3-1 uh, in the Santiago Bernabeu. Yeah. So Madrid will go through, okay? Madrid will still go through. But for Arsenal, yeah, quarterfinals next. Right, we look at the quarterfinals. We focus on the quarterfinals. F focus on these games, obviously. But our our thoughts should be: How do we get past the quarterfinals? Because when you are in the semi-final and you're looking ahead, you're one game away from history. You're one game away from uh, being, I, I don't know, <laughs> the best side in Europe. And that is what we should aim at being. We should aim at being the best side in Europe right now.